Hello everyone, today we're going to be working on speed and coordination at home. We're going to be using a ladder, but not a physical ladder, we're going to be drawing one. We're going to be drawing one with this outdoor chalk. All right, You can acquire this chalk at any local store, uh, Walmart, Target, all of those, uh, for exterior use. Make sure you ask your parents permission before you use it. Follow up, keep up, and enjoy the exercises. First thing we have to do is make sure our work area is nice and clean to avoid any slipping or falling. After you'd made sure that the work area is clean, you're going to draw your first line. This will be the end or beginning of the ladder. Make sure you mark it very well. From that line, we're going to walk about five normal steps and draw the end line or the beginning line depending on where you're starting. After that we're going to place our foot just above the end line and we're going to mark another line leaving a little bit of space between my toe and the next line. I'm going to secure this and do this for the next eight steps. You should end up with about eight squares. I'm grabbing a hockey stick as a guide to make sure my lines are straight. You can grab a broom, a ruler, anything that you find. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a guide. Close and mark your squares. Your end product should be something similar to this. Now we can start our workout. We will only cover three basic exercises starting with this one, the most basic. This will help your running, your speed and agility. The idea is to put two steps in each one of the squares while getting my knees high and pumping my arms. I'm going to pump my arms as fast as I can and keep them as straight as possible. The faster my arms move, the faster my whole body will move. For all these exercises we will start slow and start getting faster with each rep. This next exercise will have a couple of variations and is the most complex out of the three we're going to be covering. The idea is to have two feet in each square at a time while just keeping one out and coming in with the opposite foot. You can sing it in your head, step step out, step step out, step step out with each new step advancing to the next square. We can hold our pose for a little bit and then go and again as we progress we speed it up. The hold will help you for certain fakes at any game. For instance a body fake. Fake an opponent right, fake an opponent left and explode with the ball. This 
next exercise is simple, but can have great variations. The key is, both feet step at the same time. One foot will be in the square, and one foot will be out. The variations are you can add squats or movements of the hip. Speed can also be a factor, speeding up or slowing down. Reps of 8 for each exercise, 10 minutes, 3 times a week, will help increase your explosion, your drive, your agility, and your speed when it matters during the game. Thanks for watching.